Hi, I'm Mike from Eagle America. I want to talk a little today about our fluting jig. I want to show you how it comes, what all the different components are, and how they go together, and a little bit about how to use it. What you'll end up getting is the instruction sheet, the base plate, two guide wings, and a bag of hardware. The hardware pack should contain three bearings, three flat washers, three short screws, two carriage bolts, and two three-wing knobs. The first thing that needs to be done is to mount your router to your base. The base comes without it being drilled because there's so many different types of routers on the market. We've set it up so that you can drill your own holes to fit your specific router. So the first thing that you need to do is to take your router and remove the base plate. The first thing that you want to do after you remove the plate from your router is to center it on the fluting jig plate. A little trick that helps is to use some double-sided tape to stick it down so that when you mark the location of the individual holes, uh, the plate does not move. Best to use a felt tip pen which will give you a nice clear mark. After you've marked the holes, remove the router plate and then drill the holes into the, the plate and countersink them. And make sure that you countersink them on the side that's going to go against the wood. The reason for countersinking them is so that you don't scratch the wood. The next thing you want to do is take the screws that you had removed to remove the router plate and mount your plate that you've just drilled to the router. A matter of lining up the holes and running the screws in. After mounting the jig plate to the router, then we want to add the bearing to the wings. What you want to do is take the bearing and the screw, put the screw through the bearing, add the washer to the other side of the bearing so that it goes between the bearing and the wing. And it is then screwed into the existing hole The same thing is repeated on the other side, but this one takes two bearings. After the bearings mounted to the wing, you want to mount that to the jig. That's mounted with these carriage bolts. They're inserted through the holes and a three wing knob is attached to, to lock it down. There are two holes in here to allow for varying widths of material. So if you have a real wide board, you can get the wide, have a little narrower stock, then you can move the board, move the bolt, and move it in. Now that we have the jig assembled, I want to show you a few quick tips on how to lay out your work to get a straight or curved flute. 
Next thing you need to do is lay out where you want your flutes on your stock. This board has a couple of flutes in it, and let's say we want to center another flute. All we have to do is put a little tick mark on the wood uh, forever you, wherever you want to, to cut a flute. You'll notice that the jig has a center line that is marked as on the jig. That center line gets centered on your little tick mark. And after you set that in place, it's a matter of loosening the knobs, sliding the wings in, and tightening them so that you have a nice, clean, tight fit and there's no wobble back and forth. Because the tracking of the bearings is so sensitive, any variation in the edge of your arch or your circle will, uh, will show up. So we recommend using a circle jig with a spiral cutter to give you a nice, clean, smooth edge. One important point to keep in mind, anytime you're doing curved arches, you want to make sure that the single bearing is riding on the inside of the arc and your double bearing is on the outside. You want to lay out your curved arches the same as you do with a straight board by determining where your flutes will be, marking them with a little of tick, and then taking your router lining up the center line with the tick, making sure that your wings are slid in uh, snug against the inside and the outside, and again, making sure that your single bearing is on the inside of the flute. This is really a great jig. It's very easy to use, designed to work on straight stock, one to 12 inches wide, or in curved stock, one to five and a half inches wide. It's very easy to use, a lot of fun. I think you'll find that it will make your job a lot easier for doing fluted work.